Hello, my vlog family. How's everybody doing? This week, we read, kind of, um, This is How You Loser by Juna Diaz, which, first order of business, why does every author have to have an impossible name to pronounce? This is awful. Every single one. I don't like it. <laughs> but, um, This is How You Lose Her is a sh collection of short stories about Junior, um, who is the main character, and not <laughs> my favorite character. Um, and I think that's just for personal reasons that he's not my favorite. But, overall, I really, really liked the stories, um, and how they tied together, and how they portrayed Junior. And one in particular that I really, really enjoyed was the whole story of Miss Laura. Um, and I think that's because it gave me a little insight on how Junior worked a little more rather than just things he'd done and his family. I think this kind of tied all of those together for me and I really, really liked it. Um, because how Diaz uses the reoccurring dreams, I think, shows you a little bit about how worried Junior was about everything happening in his life, because there are little bombs being dropped on him and his family throughout the first half of the book that were pretty huge, like when Rafa got cancer and died, um, and how that affected Junior and his mother. That's huge. And then I think the other one for me that stood out the most was how Junior was really, really scared to turn out like his brother and his dad. And for the most part, that's what I got out of this chapter, was that he didn't want to be like them, but he ended up being like them. I think at one point he's talking to um, Paloma, his girlfriend at the time, and he says, it's all about the blood or it's all in the blood or something like that. And she kind of blows him off, but... I think he, it's kind of like a self-fulfilling destiny, like, he knows it's gonna happen, his dad was like it, his brother was like it, so he obviously, you know, follows in their footsteps, even though he really doesn't want to, and on page 169, kind of confirmed that for me, and took it a step further, because Junior says, and you are 16 and you have a feeling that now that the ass engine has started, no force on earth will ever stop it. And that's just like that confirmation that yes, gonna be like my dad, gonna be like my brother, and there's no stopping it. There's no way I can change because this is Dominican men. It's what we do. Um, and then again on page 173, um, it says that, um, when Junior is at Rutgers, um, and he dates all the time, and he dates all these girls, but none of it ever works, because Miss Laura has ruined him for women his own age. And I think that says a lot about Junior and how he handles relationships, and the fact that he likes to blame everyone else for the decisions he makes. And I think that's really interesting, and I think that's A, why I didn't like him. <laughs> and two, it makes him a three-dimensional character. He's not just this flat, like, I'm a womanizer, I cheat on all my women. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to be that way, I don't think, especially in these stories where he's younger. Um, he doesn't want to be there, and then at the end, obviously, he doesn't want to be that way, but he is, and he knows that, and he realizes it. Because I think it's what he grew up with, and it's all he really knew. I think he could have been different. He could have, if he really wanted to be. But he wasn't. So, Junior, not my favorite dude. But I get it. I get it. But yeah, so I really actually like this book. Um, Not my favorite book out of the ones we've read. But I do really like it still. Um, and it's interesting, and I recommend it. To everyone, check it out. <laughs> Bye.